this channel not that makeup dot lifestyle and last week I had uh, spoken about a particular topic at a uh, at a youth meeting and uh, afterwards they were asking if there was a recording persons are asking did you record it um, no I did not but I am trying to know summarize what was said in that um in that session so before we go any further th father we thank you for another opportunity to be in your presence to be in your courts lord we enter in with praise and thanksgiving and this morning we give you thanks that you are sticking closer than our brother in these times and that is something definitely that we can always say that you are no matter who has left us or who has written us off that you are still God and you are still there by us so God as I speak this morning I pray that it will be a blessing to the persons who will hear it all right so well um, the topic that I had spoken about was uh, The topic I spoke about was embracing and evolving into the Proverbs 31 woman. Alright, so um, speaking about the Proverbs 31 woman, we know that uh, she is the epitome or an inspiration to which many women strive to be. And uh, the main uh, message that i wanted the woman to take away from this i want you to take away from this is that uh, um knowing and walking in purpose is the key to embracing the proverbs 31 woman she the proverbs 31 woman knows who she is and she said she ensures that she is grounded and rooted in god but uh, I kind of took a different stance or looked at it a different way where women who feel broken and feel like their past would not allow them to even be called or feel like they can be called a, a Proverbs 31 woman and I truly believe that I am called to empower broken women to know that their story does not define or you know it doesn't put you in a space forever to say that whatever happened to you before that you can't overcome and become something greater and the first thing first is that we need to define us a few keywords and it says embracing and evolving into the proverbs 31 woman and embrace means to hold someone closely in one's arms especially as a sign of a Fiction. and evolve means to develop gradually and we all know who the Proverbs 31 woman is and if you read Proverbs 31 verses 10 to 31 you will see the characteristics of this woman unfolding and it says who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies the heart of her husband not safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil she will do him good and not evil all the days of his life she she seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands she is like the merchant ship she bringeth for her food from afar she riseth also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens she considered a field and buyeth it with the fruit of her hands she planted a vineyard 
she girded her loins with strength and strengthened her arms. She perceived that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. She layeth her hands to the spindle and her hands hold the staff. And we know these things about the Proverbs 31 woman. She is a she is a businesswoman, she's an entrepreneur, she's a wife, she's a mother. She is a, a woman of faith, a woman of God. So all of those things defines that type of woman. And we also see where they say favor is deceitful and beauty is, fa is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. And it is so easy to feel intimidated by this woman are what characteristics are outlined in verses 10 to 31 of Proverbs 31 and the question I've asked myself and even asked when preparing this is what happens when you don't reach to the level pointed out for the Proverbs 31 woman and I would have never have referred to myself as a Proverbs 31 woman before now would have never and uh, because my worth was always a wrapped up in how persons saw me or persons perceived me and when my friend asked me to speak on the topic i was like yeah man i'll do it but then when i started to dig in i'm saying but can i be a proverbs 31 woman can i be called that i mean you're a mother you're a wife you're an entrepreneur you're a your your senior management you are doing all these things and it's like sometimes it's hard to balance everything and you definitely see where you feel like you're lacking in one area yes they have listed so many characteristics about her but uh, do i really feel like a proverbs 31 woman that is a question i always seem to ask myself and I know that many of us will have testimonies that we can, sometimes we can't even speak about them in public because they are so bad. And I believe that was also me because like in Proverbs, you have other women who were defined in Proverbs. And there is one that, that sometimes I think I would fit in it. Like the woman defined in Proverbs 21 verse 9 and 19. It is says and it says better to live on a corner of a roof than to share a house with a quarrelsome wife and better to live in a desert than with a quarrelsome and nagging wife and many of us even when you are married can check that box to say I don't act like a Proverbs 31 woman I'm miserable um, so certain things annoy me and I am going to make it known that they are annoying to me and it's not saying that you should be quiet and not speak on the things that are, are affecting you. It's just that there is a way and a time and place how to do it. It's not like you get up every day and you're going to nag and be quarrelsome. No. And there are other definite other ways that women were def defined in Proverbs apart from the Proverbs 31 woman. You could have been brawling. They, 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 there's a term that defined woman as strange, promiscuous, immoral quarrelsome so those are some of the terms that were used to define other types of women and most women will feel like okay if proverbs highlighted these other types and i feel like i fit into those other types how then could i possibly fit into the definition of a proverbs 31 woman and many of us and i've shared my testimony before where i was drawn out of church at 15 i was you know in a romantic relationship with a person at that young age and so it took a while for me to get over those things because yes most people are saying oh the proud 31 woman she's pure and you know a good girl and uh, many things that we've been through alcohol parties all of that sex fornication adultery all of those things yes they take a toll but that doesn't mean that your past should define you that you cannot step out of that and step into something else right that doesn't mean that and many of us can speak to the fact that our past has scarred us
the past really scarred us that's an understatement for me and it took a while to really unpack and to heal from these things or so these things in the back of your mind i'm like yeah i see proverbs 31 but over on this hand i see me and i see all i've been through i could never fit into any of those characteristics that that um that is defined in proverbs 31 and uh, look here this is this is a thing and i think this is where many persons don't understand that uh, the proverbs 31 woman is a uh, it's a process to get there you don't just get up one day and you wake up and you say i'm a proverbs 31 woman it's a process it is a process so instead of self-sabotaging like i would do i would self-sabotage myself I will ev I would not even think that I was worthy of receiving love or worthy to receive anything. And then uh, the the thing that we need to understand as women too is that uh, while there are definitions of women and how you should be according to Proverbs and how Solomon defined the other women, but there are other things, other scriptures in the Bible which speaks to you know your weakness and God using your weakness and in your weakness you he's he, you are made strong because of him and in second corinthians 12 verse 9 he says my grace is sufficient for you my power is made perfect in weakness and we can also speak to the verse that we always love to talk about psalm 139 verse 14 which says i praise you because i am fearfully and wonderfully made your works are wonderful i know that full well but the question really is how do i really embrace becoming that proverbs 31 woman and if we go back to the definition of embrace it says to hold closely in one's arms especially as a sign of affection and one exercise that i had done in that session is to have the women sit and think about the things that have hurt them the things that have happened in their lives before where they think that no way on earth on god's green land is it possible for me to get rid of that or to step out of myself and be you know be someone who's worthy of love and all i ask them to do is that to embrace themselves give themselves a hug it starts there embracing the proverbs 31 woman it starts there you start to embrace you you start to embrace you and tell us that i'm gonna start loving me i'm gonna start embracing me i'm gonna stop rejecting love i'm gonna stop rejecting god's love because a proverbs 31 woman is a woman of faith she trusts in god she is a woman of faith so you have to start there you have to come to a place where you accept that god's love for you is sufficient and remind yourself daily of that i will not allow my past or how others perceive me to think any less of myself that i could not be called a proverbs 31 woman rahab was used in the bible and we see where rahab was a critical part of the genealogy of christ the prostitute the rahab's I'm speaking to you this morning. You feel like as if you cannot, you could not possibly be a woman of valor, a woman of virtue because of all of what you have been through. But I'm here to tell you this morning that God's grace is sufficient for you. So I'm going to tell you the same thing to think about the things that you think are not, you're not worthy of love, you're not worthy of what God has for you and start to embrace you literally embrace yourself and say i will no longer do this i'm changing my mindset that i can become a proverbs 31 woman and when you start to embrace you more and allow god to embrace you it is only then you start to see yourself as a proverbs 31 woman you hear me so i can tell you you can still say you're a Proverbs 31 woman and still feel broken and rejected. So for me, 
embracing proverbs 31 meant that i had to get to know who i am get to know who you are so that i can connect with my purpose you start where you are forgetting about the long list of characteristics but start where you are and you just take one step at a time it is not something that is gonna drop on you with all the characteristics at one time it is impossible and each season in your life unveils or peels back a layer of that Proverbs 31 woman. So you're not going to be her at, not right now. You cannot be. It's not possible to be her. Have all, all her characteristics in one go right now. Sometimes each season unveils a layer that you need to have. And the next thing is that... The question I ask is Proverbs 31 the foundation for a successful marriage and many young people many desire marriage and what I I think I've done a video maybe last year the year before that spoke to before the ring and the first thing you have to do is conduct a self-assessment to determine whether you have the inclination to have the, any of the attributes outlined in Proverbs 31. Because we love to plan the wedding. We love to have the great pictures on Instagram and social media in Mona Luchi magazine and be featured. Have the best vendors, best flowers, best makeup artists, best hairstylists, best dress, the dress of a buy in an Italian co yeah we plan the wedding but we don't plan for the marriage how are you prepared when you have all these roles to fulfill and your support system is not there because you need a proper support system to be a proverb 31 woman you need an environment in which you can thrive so if you don't have that are you prepared for the loneliness when you choose wrongly and you choose a wrong spouse? You choose a wrong spouse because why? You want the fairy tale and we don't think about the things that come behind that. We want the fairy tale and we don't want anything else, just the fairy tale. And so I can't stress it enough that you need to look beyond looks and words. So that you can be in tune with your partner that's how you choose how you know the person will create an environment for you to thrive and to be that proverbs 31 woman right uh and one thing you need to understand when you when you're choosing a spouse and if you desire to be like a proverbs 31 woman is that you will have to ensure the person that you have or are looking to marry is one who can cover you and who can really help to bear your load when some of the things that you're doing seems to be like it's not enough so if you're not centered in christ or have not embraced who you are truly then you can never understand or get into embracing the proverbs 31 woman if you're not centered in christ and if you don't know who you are and uh, the last thing I'd say about embracing is that to recognize the Proverbs 31 woman is not perfection. She's simply inspiration for women. And I'll get into evolving. Evolve means to develop gradually, just like a caterpillar to a butterfly. You will not necessarily display all the characteristics of a 31, Proverbs 31 woman at the same time, but there are key attributes to always strive to maintain. And these are being a woman of faith with full trust in God. This is not negotiable. That's not negotiable. To be a woman of faith, that's not negotiable. You need to be trustworthy. You need to be honest and reliable. You need to start somewhere and you will see God give you the grace to do all that you desire to do. And when you understand that concept that God gives you the grace to execute and to start stepping into these areas, then you will notice that the other attributes of the Proverbs 31 woman starts to flow more effortlessly. So the key takeaway from this video today is that... Uh, you're more than qualified to be referred to as a Proverbs 31 woman.
you are more than qualified. You limit yourself because of your past and your limitations. And you put on your feelings of, you put on yourself feelings of, of worth on worthlessness or unworthiness. But the thing is, what God is saying to us in this season and this time is that yes, it is an ideal. But at the same time, I am more than able to ensure that you can be called such a woman if you but put your trust in me. If you but understand where you're coming from and where you're going. Because many of us don't even know where we're going. So we can't even aspire to be a power of 31 woman because we don't know where we're going. And yet we have yet to let go of our past self to be able to step into the future and to see yourself as a Proverbs 31 woman. So that is the key from me this morning. Just basically showing you that to embrace and evolve, you have to first embrace you, embrace, embrace Christ, and then work towards developing those attributes of a Proverbs 31 woman. So I hope that this video was a blessing to you. I pray that, uh, you know, you will not allow anymore that your limitations to stop you from being the woman that God has called you to be. You are favored. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. And Father, we thank you this morning that your daughters, you have called them for such a time as this. We thank you for lifting the feelings that they are unworthy of love, unworthy of even being called chosen and righteous. But God, we thank you this morning that you allow them to see beyond what they see in the mirror and let them see themselves as you see them. Lord God, we thank you for regenerating their minds this morning. And we thank you this morning, mighty God, that you continue to be their source and their shield and their buckler. So God, we thank you. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in this morning. Um, I hope it wasn't rambling. I hope you guys got something from it and it was a blessing. So, no, I'm about to be late for work. So, I got the run. So, have a blessed day. Love you all.